Hello and welcome to our Alumni Spotlight podcast. My name is Autumn Granza and I work to tell the amazing stories of our students and alumni here at Penn Foster. Today I'm speaking with Jessica Carter, who recently graduated from our veterinary technician program in 2019. Welcome, Jessica. Hello, very nice to be here. Thank you. Thank you so much for talking with us today. So Jessica, we're going to dive right in. Um, I know you recently graduated. So what would you say you liked about the veterinary technician program? Oh, there's so much. Um, <laughs> I I have quite a background in veterinary medicine, so it was really nice to really dig into the why behind everything um, and kind of get an idea of more in depth of why we're we're doing things a certain way um, in veterinary medicine and really um, understanding the the biology behind things, the anatomy behind things, and getting better at writing and public speaking part of it. <laughs> um, so I really enjoyed that aspect of the program and I really loved um, the webinars were probably one of my favorite parts and really getting to know the teachers and, and getting really in depth on certain subjects like biology is great and then um, management type uh, webinars were great and the uh, emergency and large animal I also really enjoyed as well. So those were probably my favorite parts. <laughs> oh, that's great. And what you said you were in the field before you started. So what were you doing and how did you find Penn Foster? Um, so I have about 13 years of experience before I started Penn Foster. Um, I started in high school doing an internship at a, a general practice and then went into shelter medicine and then worked in emergency medicine for eight years and started really hearing about the veterinary nurse initiatives and technician utilization and realized that if I wanted to get a higher level job where I could do more really cool and in-depth things <laughs> like central lines and IO catheters and, and really complex surgeries, I would really have to have that that title behind my name, I, I'd have to have those credentials to be able to do the things that were really exciting and I really wanted to do. Um, I also really love teaching and I knew I'd have to have some kind of credential to be able to teach. So I started looking around at programs and a friend of mine was actually in Penn Foster and said, why don't you check these guys out? They're, they seem really good. I, I've really enjoyed the first semester so far. So I did some research and I looked at Penn Foster and really looked at the success stories behind some of the people who had been in the school already and uh, signed up in 2015 um, and then graduated November of 2019 and sat for my VTNE March of 2020. That's so great. And did you find it helpful to have a friend who was also going through the program and have maybe like a study buddy? Oh, absolutely. Um, <laughs> there are a lot of really good resources in the community, but it was really nice to have somebody who I worked with, who I was close to, that we could sit down and go over flashcards and um, talk about how is this class working for you? What did you find made it easier for you to get through it? And having someone who had been through the same steps as I did. So she uh, kind of understood where I was at. Having someone there next to you to be able to kind of talk through it really made it, made the information stick. Um, yeah. And having an online program can be a little bit difficult to stay motivated. So that was my motivation was keeping up with Jody and making sure that uh, we were both on the same page because if she was going to ask me a question, I want to know what she was talking about. <laughs> yeah, that's so great, though. And we always talk about um, while you're at Penn Foster and it is an online school, you're, you're never really alone. We have the student community. We have so many mm -hmm and alumni. So that's great. I'm so happy you were able to find someone to study with and really keep you keep you challenged while going through the program. What did you like most about pursuing an education online? I have always worked um, my whole adult life. So I really had to have something that could work around my schedule. Um, and at the time I was married and I was working two jobs. So I was taking care of the house. I was taking care of my, my two jobs. I was taking care of my, my dogs. And uh, I really had to find something that could fit in in the time that I had. And that was one of the big appeals of Penn Foster was that I was able to kind of work around my schedule. There wasn't a set time I had to be in class because if I had to pick up a shift for work, I didn't want to lose out on my, my classwork. 
Um, so being able to have that flexibility and access wherever I, wherever I wanted to go, I didn't have to sit down in a school. Um, I could take my laptop with me and have an hour break at, at lunch. And so that was a huge factor in me choosing Penn Foster as well. So when did you, aside from at, at work, when did you maybe find time to study or is there any study tips you can, you can give current students in the program? Oh, <laughs> don't give up. Um, (laughs) If you feel like you don't have enough time, um, because it's really easy to say, well, I don't have two hours to focus on this right now, so I'll just do it tomorrow. Um, So basically what I did was I would take my laptop with me, and while I was sitting at lunch, half an hour, an hour at lunch, I would watch a webinar, or I would look at my notes, or I would do something involving school. Um, And then when I got home, I'd, you know, eat dinner and put on a webinar or put on my, my, my study plan that I was working on at the time. So being able to find those little pockets of time really made it so that I could move forward a little bit more easily. Um, And, and honestly, there were a lot of times where I may go two weeks without working on school because I was so preoccupied with everything else and having that study buddy uh, really helped me because she was like, come on, you've, you've been two weeks without working on school. Let's get back to it. And she really kept me motivated. And I would get emails from Penn Foster as well that were like, it's been a week since you've submitted an exam. And I'd be like, oh, geez, it has been a week. Let me go back and look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so the reminders from Penn Foster really helped as well. Yeah, that's great. And were you already working once you graduated? Yes. Um, I was actually working in an emergency clinic while I was in most of my my classes for Penn Foster. Mm-hmm. And near the end, I was looking for an externship with a large animal clinic. Um, and I, I found a clinic that was like, oh, well, we know, we know people who are in large animal. Why don't you come work for us? We'll set you up with the large animal people and we'll give you a job at the same time. And I was like, uh, okay, that seems kind of cool. I guess I'll check it out. Um, and they, they really encourage Penn Foster uh, education, and they, they actually work with, with a lot of their employees to go through Penn Foster. So they already had set up uh, a large animal portion of the externship. Like, basically, we know what you need for the externship. Here's everything that you need for it. So it was oh, really great. great. I had a, a little bit of a change of career in my last semester. <laughs> and I went from emergency to a specialty clinic. And that's where I'm at now, um, a year later. And I, I love it. It's amazing. And they, they are the ones that got me into Penn Foster's bachelor's program. So That's amazing. Yeah, I was just going to say, and now you're starting the bachelor's program. How are you? How do you feel you're progressing through there? It's great. Um, the first little bit uh, is just like a walkthrough and kind of a reintroduction into the Penn Foster program. And then the first big class is the human animal bond, which I started taking right at the beginning of shutdowns and curbside and all of that. And it really gave me an understanding of what people, what our clients were going through and kind of viewing that in a different way, just from one class in the bachelor's program, which was amazing. Yeah, um, and kind of seeing the attitude of my coworkers and how that equates to the human animal bond class and the psychology behind it was fascinating. It was amazing. It really helped me kind of have more patience with them and mm-hmm. kind of give a little bit of grace to myself as well. That's fantastic. And I know you said it, you got hired in your last semester and it took you really no time at all to find a job. How do you feel Penn Foster helped you um, to put that experience and what you were learning into a real world setting? Well, uh, my clinic, like I said, works with Penn Foster and encourages people to go through the Penn Foster program. So they were like, oh, you're a Penn Foster student. Come on in. <laughs> we have a job for you. Um, and working in in specialty and really getting the in-depth nursing care and real in-depth anesthesia training and learning more about uh, anesthetic monitoring and and pain medications and all the different processes of the body that you deal with in specialty medicine, um, I had kind of a leg up um, Mm -hmm. on knowing what we were going to be dealing with day to day in the clinic. And I do patient care for the most part. Um, So really looking at 
pain and uh, behavior and those different things from a different viewpoint than just being in practice, actually knowing the why behind everything makes my, my job much easier and it really helps me uh, in the day-to-day when I'm working. How do you feel like you maybe compare to your coworkers um, having a Penn Foster education? Oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> my coworkers are amazing. Um, they're very experienced, very knowledgeable. Most of them are licensed techs. Um, and sometimes it feels like because I'm an, I, I went through an online school and I really had to push myself and really have a lot of initiative to be able to go through and find the resources that I needed and having that, you know, online support of all these different people. I think sometimes there are things that, that I have a little more insight on, um, not necessarily that the education is I'm not going to say better, uh, but it sticks a little bit harder sometimes. <laughs> um, I love Penn Foster. I love their program. I'm not downing anybody else's, but I'm I'm a Penn Foster. I'm a Penn Foster advocate all the way. <laughs> Nothing wrong with loving your school. So I, I appreciate that. And I love hearing that. Um, and you said, I know you said you have, you like teaching and you have a passion for teaching. Um, so can you tell me about a little bit about how you're putting into practice and teaching at your current role? Yeah. Uh, so like I said, I'm a, a, a patient care, uh, technician. So I do the nursing care for, for all the hospitalized patients. Um, but my new position, which I started about four months ago, I'm actually training coordinator for my specialty clinic. So everybody that comes on board as a new hire goes through a training protocol that I've started with my company. Um, We took some information that was already available and added to it and began a mentorship program and a training program. And I really utilize a lot of the things that I learned through Penn Foster um, to build that program and um, just being able to, to help other people understand the why behind what they're doing and everything that I've learned in practice and through Penn Foster and putting that to use every day really just feels great. Um, and having my team feel like they're set up for success from day one uh, is, is really a great thing. And I really feel passionate about helping other technicians feel comfortable and, and be educated and uh, know the why behind what they're doing. So it's, it's, been a really great ride. <laughs> um, in in the midst of everything that's going on, we're actually building up our community and building up our practice, and it feels amazing. That's so great, and I'm I'm so happy for you on the uh, new role, and we're definitely proud of you. So congratulations there. Oh, and, thank you. <laughs> no problem. And I know you mentioned in the midst of everything going on. Um, I know you left a little fun tidbit, um, using your, your sewing talents for the better. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Oh, geez. I forgot about that. (laughs) (laughs) Um, yeah, I had a sewing machine in storage for four or five years. And at the beginning of lockdown, our clinic requires everyone to wear masks and we had bought some that were not exactly the most comfortable in the world. So I went and bought a bunch of fabric and took my sewing machine out of storage and made, uh, I believe I've made about 500 masks now. Um, every single one of my coworkers has two, uh, tie behind masks that I made. Um, and they're all, we've got some Harry Potters, we've got some animals, we've got some nerd, (laughs) nerd (laughs) stuff going on. Um, but everybody got to to pick their own mask and and I made a mask for everybody in the clinic and donated some to a couple other programs as well. That's so great. And definitely so kind of you to use uh, your free time to do that for everyone. I bet it's much appreciated. Thanks. Of course. So after you finish your bachelor's program, um, what is your ultimate career goal, Jessica? My ultimate career goal is basically to be a traveling tech Teacher, if that makes sense. Um, I really want to go to different clinics and and teach people and, and not only hard skills and, and like how to play central lines, how to do orogastric innovation, those various things, but also the importance of of how education helps day to day practice and how we can be better technicians by utilizing 
a community of education, not only, you know, in hospital, but use your resources, Penn Foster, NAFTA, AHA. I mean, there's so many places that we can learn Mm -hmm. um, and and really encouraging people to get outside their comfort zone and and learn new things and work with other technicians. as a as a profession, we really need to come together and and lift each other up. And I really feel like by traveling around and helping people implement training programs and really having a one team mentality, and um, it's not only better practice for us, but it's better practice for our patients. Yeah, that's great. And it seems like uh, in doing so, you can use your two passions for the field and teaching. So that sounds like a great yeah. goal. Absolutely. <laughs> And Jessica, what would you say to current students who are working their way through the program or even alumni who are maybe trying to break into the field? Oh, that's a big question. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Persistence is key. Um, You you really have to see the value in, in the education that you're getting. And when you realize how much of a value that is, other people will realize that value as well. Um, there are times when it feels a little overwhelming and just pushing through that and doing a little bit at a time and really getting, getting that education and, and getting it to solidify in your brain can be real difficult. I have ADHD, so it was definitely something that helped me just doing little bits at a time and making sure that I solidified something in my brain before I went on to the next thing. Um, and and when you do that and you you have a good solid understanding behind it, then when you do it in practice, it really comes naturally and it feels really great to to be able to help your patients and help help your coworkers out. Um, and great. even alumni taking that information and sharing it with other people and saying, "Hey, this is the education that I got. You guys should check out Penn Foster. They're awesome." <laughs> <laughs> That's some great advice. That's some great advice. And how does it feel for you to be a Penn Foster graduate? Oh, I, if I ever see something on online of like, hey, I'm looking at online schools. Who do you guys recommend? I'm always like, Penn Foster, number one, always. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel supported and like going to VMX this past year and meeting Doc Jim and other students and, and really seeing the community behind Penn Foster from all over the place just feels really great. And it feels like you kind of have this little extended family. and you can go into the community and talk to people who are in the same parts of the program as you, even if they're in, you know, Alaska and I'm in North Carolina, we can still talk about what we're going through. Um, And it's, it's just a really good feeling of community and, and it really feels pretty empowering. Yeah. Especially vet tech. They had, that's such a a vast program of people from all over the place. And it really is. And Dr. Jim, like it did a great job of keeping up with that Facebook and he has a great group going there. And it's always um, so inspiring to stop in there and check out what people are doing and saying, and you guys are always doing such amazing work. So Jessica, last question. Uh, What are three words to describe your Penn Foster experience? Enlightening, rewarding, sometimes difficult. Um, and honestly, I think a good education should be a little difficult sometimes. It shouldn't be a cakewalk. And that's where the rewarding comes in. <laughs> that's so true. Jessica, thank you so much. This was great. And we wish you the best of luck in your studies and um, as you progress through your career. So congratulations. And thank you so much for talking with us today. Thank you. I really appreciate it.